You saw the introduction, let's get started. Going in with a white crayon, I'm using one by Colourpop, but anything you have will work. Outline your balloons. I've done two on my face and a couple on my chest, scattered around my chest, including a big one in the middle. Then what you're gonna do is line from the top of the balloon down to the bottom, but try and keep it in more of a rounded line instead of a straight line because we're gonna make these look as 3D as we can. I am using reference images for both of the balloons on my face, so they pretty much work exactly the same with the lines across them going up and down. When you paint them, you'll be able to see the shape of them clearly and it won't look as jagged as it does now, but try and follow a reference image if you can because it might get confusing. For my first balloon, I go in with red and orange body paint, as well as a dark blue and a teal and a yellow. I use a flat applicator brush, a small one, and for the bottom three rows, I fill in with red. I don't really pay too much attention here because I'm going to outline it, shade it, highlight it later, and I do go in with other colors, so just kind of fill in the spaces as you see them. Obviously stay in the lines as much as you can, but there's no stress if you really can't. These are water-based paints and you can fix it. The next layer up, I paint orange, and the layer above that, I use yellow. I put two layers of the yellow paint down because, as you can see, it is a bit transparent and I didn't like that. The layer above that, I go in with the dark blue because I love that contrast. This is my favorite color combination and I thought that it would look the best. I've used teal because light blue may have clashed with the sky that I'll be painting on the rest of my body, but you can use whatever you want really. I just had teal and I like teal. <laughs> Once the base layer of the paint is on, take an angle brush and a black body paint, and from the top to the bottom where you've lined your white lines, do that now with black. I was a little nervous to do the black lines, but I mean, don't be. It just takes practice. Then fill it all in where you filled in the white, I painted the basket brown, and I moved on. The shadows that I use, some of them are by Lime Lily, I've got my Inglot and my Ben Nye palettes as well, but honestly, any colours you have that match the body paints you've used will work. For the shading, make sure that you shade away from where your highlight point is. My sun or my light is coming in from where my cheekbone is coming in, so obviously I'm shading on the opposite side, on the lower right hand. Shade the red with a dark red shadow, shade the orange with a dark orange, the yellow with a dark yellow, and so on and so forth. I use white cream body paint here and an angled brush to create my highlight. I start off with one line down my face and I sort of make it taper off into the individual squares because that's how it would be stitched together. And with a very small detail brush, I blend that out as much as I can because I figured it's a balloon, it's gonna have scattered light, it's not just gonna be one straight line. But I did like the cartoony effect of the straight line, so I left that initial line there. With the other balloon, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm gonna leave it playing, just in case you'd like to see how that one was done. But the colours are different. I outline that one, just like I did the previous one. Making sure to keep the top as well not as a straight line, as a circle, but kind of stitched to make it look like it's been stitched together. I then go in and detail those lines, add my highlights. These highlights on this balloon come in from the opposite side, so I shadow accordingly. Then with a the foundation applicator brush, I take my light blue body paint and paint the rest of me light blue. I accidentally made an ombre effect <laughs> by mixing colours together, but that's alright because it's a sky. I used a detail brush around the little balloon so I didn't, you know, paint them blue on top by accident. I then decided to go in with clouds because it was looking a little flat. Clouds are hard. You have to use discretion with clouds. No two clouds look the same. I've used a duo fibre brush here and white body paint. And I do it in layers, so I'll wait until they dry, go back in with more white, wait until they dry, go back in, you know. And then I've taken a dark blue shadow, and again, working with where the light source is coming from, I shade some parts of the clouds, underneath the clouds, around the clouds, to make them more three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. 
that is the final look. It is a very colourful look, so have fun with it and happy painting. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave it a like and if you'd like to see more body painting, consider subscribing. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you in my next video.